Welcome back guys, Robert with Occupancy Boost. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the Opportunity Center in the Booking.com extranet. Now this, uh, this is a great page for you to go through about once a month. What it does, it shows you the deficiencies that your hotel is having in Booking.com compared to other properties in your area. And it gives you recommendations on how to fix those deficiencies. So I'm gonna switch screens. I'm going to go to the booking.com extranet to the opportunity center and I'm going to run through that and show you guys how to get your hotel uh, more occupancy, more bookings and beat your competitors. Stay tuned. Okay, we are on the booking.com extranet here and this top tab that says grow your own business. You're just going to click on that and you're going to click on Opportunity Center right there at the very first. And it's going to take you to this page right here, the Opportunity Center page. Now, what I do, I go through for every hotel that I support, I go through this page about every month. And I just use it as kind of a, a guide, if you will. This is not uh, an artificial intelligence type of uh, page for your particular property. What they do with this page, what booking.com's intentions are, are just to get you to navigate this extranet. This extranet, as you can see all the tabs up here, this extranet is so large, it'd be pretty much impossible for somebody that's not familiar with it to go through every single one of these tabs and study every single thing and figure out what's going to work best for their property. It takes a very, very, very long time to go through that. And nobody's going to take that time. Um, you know, you drop down on all these tabs, there's a, there's a bunch of different sections of this extranet to go through. So this Opportunity Center, what it does for a hotel is it, it informs you of the different um, variables that your property is experiencing and it tells you, it directs you to different areas of the extranet that you can go to to fix the issues that they, it's, it senses that you have. And when you click on these take action buttons, and if you can see down here this take action button, which I'm going to go through a little bit more in depth, it actually just directly takes you to that area of the extranet. So it points out deficiencies for your property and it tells you where you can go in the extranet to update those particular things. So it's more of a general type of, of guide, if you will. It's not really um, a, a direct, you know, it's not going to tell you exactly how to fix your hotel. It's going to guide you where to go to fix an issue, you know, an issue you could be having at your property. So I do use this, like I said, once a month for the properties that I represent. I go through and just kind of uh, check this area. But I'm real familiar with this extranet, obviously. So I, when I set up properties or I, I start working with a property that I'm supporting, I pretty much, you know, have gone through a lot of this stuff already. But for somebody that, you know, obviously is not a revenue manager, and they're just supporting their property and they don't have a whole lot of time to spend in there. This Opportunity Center is a great area to go in. I recommend also that the properties go through this, this page once a month and also, um, you know, check this. So let me just take you guys through what this looks like for a typical hotel. The property that we happen to be on is a brand new property that I'm supporting. This property just opened up about a month ago. So I've taken pictures of this property. I've uploaded them. I built basically built out all their content on the extranet. And this is the first time I'm going through this Opportunity Center. So the, the things that come up for this property are not going to probably not going to come up for your particular hotel. And I thought this was a good example because this property, like I said, was just a, a property that just opened up about a month ago. So on this Opportunity Center here, the area that we're going to focus on right underneath this Opportunity Center name here is going to be this box down here. And we're just going to go through each one of these and I'm going to show you guys what pops up. And like I said, the information that pops up for this property is going to look a lot different for your property because this property is brand new. So if your property's been around a while, you're probably not going to see some of these, but you're going to get the gist of the whole thing. 
So let me scroll down here and just go to this conversion page right here, this conversion tab. So I just clicked on this. And as you can see, this property is doing really well on conversion. And if you want a definition of what they mean by conversion, it gives you a definition for all these tabs right here that we're going to click on. It's going to give you exactly what the meaning behind this page is right underneath the name here. So conversion is this is how often your property page converts from a view to a booking. So they're saying that, you know, your property, 5% of the time when somebody click uh, gets on here and, you know, views this particular city that this hotel's in, that 5% of the time their hotel's being booked. Where similar properties here over to the right is less than a percent. So this property is doing really good on conversion. Um, don't have to worry too much about that. Um, page views. Let's go to the next button down here, which is page views. It says, uh, let me read what this means. This page view section, if you read up here at the top, it tells you this is how often customers click on your property from the search results page. So every time somebody um, searches for a hotel in the city, they're, they're clicking on this property less than 2% of the time, whereas properly, properties that are similar to this property are actually getting clicked on 50, over 50% 50 of the time. So this is definitely an issue for this property. And I can tell you the two reasons for that, or the main reason for this is this property is brand new. This property just opened up a month ago, so they don't have the length of time of being on booking.com that the other properties are being, the similar properties are being compared to in this example. And what they're doing here at the bottom, underneath of this section right here, is they're giving you um, ideas on how to update your page views or how you can get this number increased from less than 2% and get it closer to the similar properties that are over 50%. Now, obviously, one thing is going to be time. This property just needs a little bit more time to get established. But if you want to do it done in a quicker fashion, you can join the Genius Program, which is one of the, one of the recommendations they have down here. Now, I did a video on the Genius Program, and I'll have a link in the description about the Genius Program and everything that it entails. That's a big area of this extranet, and I think it'd be worth your while to watch that to see if your hotel qualifies. I know that a lot of hotels that get into the Genius Program experience a big boost in their booking. So this is a great recommendation as far as I'm concerned. Um, and if you, wanted, if you want to join that Genius Program, you just click on that Take Action button, and it's going to take you to that Genius page. Or if you want to learn more about it, it's going to take you to that page and allow you to join if your hotel is eligible. So if you keep scrolling down, it says Unlock Your Local Market with Last Minute Mobile Bookings. And if I click on that Take Action button, it's going to take me to another page. It's going to show how I can set up a last-minute mobile deal. So what they're suggesting here for you to do with this property, what they're suggesting for me to do with this property in order to get my page views increased is to open up a mobile promotion to people that are on a mobile phone. I think that's a great idea. And it tells you below here, as local demand starts to increase on our site, 74% of bookings will come from mobile phones. So opening up a mobile promotion is a great idea. Um, and you scroll down a little bit more, it tells you that you're missing out on up to 60% more page views. Change that with preferred so you can actually join the preferred program if you want to. So it's got, I'm not going to go through all these recommendations, but you kind of see how this whole thing works. It gives you recommendations on how to fix the issue if you have one. And this hotel definitely has an issue with page views. The main reason being that it's brand new, but if your hotel's lagging behind in a category like this, go down here and take a look at all these options here that you have that they make available for you to get these percentages up. Let's go to the next one here to the left, which is ranking. Um, again, this is due to the property being brand new to booking.com. It says ranking, this is a percentage of searches you're seeing in when customers search for dates when you're available. So pretty much similar to um, the uh, the page views that we just looked at. And they're actually, you know, recommending the same type of thing by opening up a few promotions down here at the bottom. Now, if I go to the next one on the left here, which is availability, it says that uh, availability, this is how often your, your rooms are available on the dates customers search for. So this property is available less than 60% of the time when somebody's searching for, for dates on booking.com or properties that are similar 
are, are available over 70% of the time. I can tell you a reason for that. The property is not available because we don't have the rates um, established for more than a year out at this property. So once I get the rates loaded for this property further in advance, this number is going to go up. So definitely an important thing. I think this is great that they point this out because it tells me that we need to load, load dates, uh, rates out further in the year. And if you want to fix some of this stuff, it's also got other recommendations down here, like follow travel, traveler demand trends for your area. It's going to have you click on these buttons here, or if your property is running out of long-term availability, you can click on this take action button, and it can tell you how to get guests that are planning out further ahead. All these buttons do, let me scroll back up here, is going to take you to these different areas in the extranet up here at the very, very top. So like I said, this extranet is a huge, vast area, and all these all this Opportunity Center does is cuts down on the amount of time you're going to have to sift through the, the extranet in order to try to find something to get your hotel in better, better shape, okay? And the rest of the tabs here, they've got also length of stay. Um, this is the last one I'm going to go through, length of stay. And they're saying length of stay, this is the average number of room nights customers book at your property. This hotel gets booked less than 1.5 days per booking. So that's the average amount of time that a customer staying at this hotel is one in, is less than one and a half days where property, similar properties are being booked over one and a half days. And a couple things that they're recommending that you can do to fix this is obviously, you know, fix your inventory issue that I just recommended uh, on the last tab. Or you can go ahead and you can create a monthly rate plan. And that's this area right here. You can click on take, take action and set up a, a monthly rate plan. And then allowing, and then this bottom one here, it says open your business to long-term stay guests. So allowing guests to stay up for 90 nights can fill your calendar and tap into trend of working, of, of guests working uh, remotely. So another good recommendation, if you click on that, it's just going to take you to an area of the extranet where you could probably open up some type of promotion. So you can see how helpful this page is. It just cuts down on the amount of time that you have to spend going in the extranet and it gets your hotel fixed with any issues that you might have right away. Um, the other ones that they have listed here in the left-hand side are average daily rate. It tells you, it gives you recommendations on how to get your rate increased by um, you know, selling your higher price rooms at a higher price, or you can actually, uh, you can you can add right here underneath of that, it says boost revenue and attract more guests with value adds. So you can actually add value to your, to your rooms by um, adding uh, the different amenities that you offer and showcasing those to guests. And you can do all that by just clicking on this take action button, or if you want to learn about it, you click on the, the learn more button. Now you see there's also a button over here on the left for all of these, it says maybe later. You can actually click on these and you can you can set up reminders for this so it'll pop up again. Uh, even if you don't want a reminder, if you want to be reminded in the future, you can set that up so it kind of cleans up this page and there's not as many uh, you know options on there for you to pick. And then the rest of the tabs here are just cancellations, um, how to reduce your workload, and then everything that we've talked about is located on this all topics button down here. So that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I recommend that you guys go through this about once a month for your hotel. And just, uh, this will get you familiar with the extranet and it's really gonna make, you don't have to obviously do everything that they recommend, but it's gonna make some really good recommendations for you in order to get your hotel in better shape and get your hotel in a position where you're beating your competitors. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I've got more videos coming out, and I have a lot of videos that I've done on the extranets of both Expedia and Booking.com, along with other, you know, producing channels on, uh, on the Internet. And please like this video and share it. Uh, it helps my viewership if you share it and if you like it. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you guys in the next video.